Hi, Stampers. This is Travis. Welcome to Video Tuesday. And today, we only have five more days till Christmas. I shouldn't do this. I should do this. Five more days till Christmas. And uh, so we're only going to have this video and then Friday. And then uh, after that, we will be doing uh, probably some different kind of cards from the new mini catalog and new celebration catalogs. So today, I'm going to do three cards. This might be a long video, but if you're like me, you never have enough Christmas cards. So I made I don't know, 75, 80 Christmas cards, uh, mailed them all. Uh, well, five of them were for my daughter, for her coworkers. So I mailed 75 cards. Um, I have cards to hand out to people. I have like my hairdresser and my uh, UPS guy, right? The important guy that brings our orders. Um, the mail lady, the trash guys. I try to send, uh, just hand them cards with just a little gift inside. So that all being said, I never have enough cards because um, I've used them all up. Um, I even have a couple of these left. I don't know if you saw these, but kind of funny story with these. So this little package, I almost threw it away, right? Uh, actually, pen, a pen came in here and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with this plastic? And then I thought, wait a minute, I think some cute pep um candy sticks would fit in here. So I went to our local, um, I don't know if you have Cracker Barrel, but I went to our local Cracker Barrel and I bought candy sticks. I had to search for ones that weren't broken. Um, and I loaded them with these six inch candy sticks and they were perfect. So I had a whole bunch of these and I actually have a couple left. So they turned out really cute, right? I just made these cute little tags and um, I was excited with how cute they turned out for so simple. I already had a lot of the stuff I needed, right? Um, and today I'm gonna make three cards, as I said. So let's get started and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna use. Okay, so interestingly enough, I'm gonna use something from the annual catalog, perfectly penciled designer series paper. So this paper is black and white paper and it's so versatile because it is black and white paper. So I am uh, gonna use three pieces from that, and then I'm gonna use three different stamp sets. So these stamp sets are from the uh, the July to December, I always wanna say holiday catalog, July to December catalog. And um, I don't think that I know of, I think, no, I don't think any of these are gonna be carried over. So um, if you have these stamp sets, well, this one actually coordinated with the celebration dies that were available last uh, July and August. But um, they're both, I think, going to be retiring. So I love all these stamp sets. Um, so we are going to make three quick cards. And I'm going to use three uh, stamp pads. I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler, Shaded Spruce, and Black Memento. Those are the only three colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use some different mediums. Um, in fact, I think I forgot to bring my blends over. Hold on a second. I'm going to use my blends. Shaded Spruce, yes, and my Cherry Cobbler Blend. Okay, so I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna use some blending pen, uh, blending brushes and uh, some other little bits and pieces that I have. Okay, so the first card I'm gonna make is, I'm gonna use this piece of designer series paper. Okay, so this side is cute too, right? Flowers, love that, but I'm gonna use the striped side. I'm gonna make this super easy. I'm going to take the brush tip of my uh, Stampin' Right, uh, sorry, Stampin' Blend, and I'm just going to color this in, and I'm going to do every third one. So, super easy. Okay, and then use my Shaded Spruce. Oh man, that shaded spruce tip is bad. But look, it works great for this. Whoop, yay. Using up that ink that I didn't know if I would be able to use. Okay, look how cute that is, right? What could be more Christmassy than that? All right, so we have that done. Now I'm going to do some stamping. And I'm going to try to decide which stamp set I want to use. And I think I'm going to use this one. 
Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock. So this is going to be the same cardstock I'm going to use for all three. Okay, so this is a two and a half by three and three fourths. Okay, and I'm going to stamp some of these stamps from Vintage Christmas. Okay, so don't look at my blocks. They're really in bad. Right now they need to be cleaned. So I'm going to put both of these on here. Okay, so I'm going to stamp one in this color. I think I'll do this one in this color. Okay. And then I'll do one in Cherry Cobbler. Might as well leave those pads open, right? Because I'm going to be needing them throughout these cards. I don't really like to make really long, long videos, but like I said, when you need a lot of cards, We need a lot of cards. Okay, don't you love how that's shaped? Look at that. So that is made perfectly to make it look like a bottle that's full. I love it. Okay, so I need to clean that. Give me a second. Get my Stampin' chamois. That's not... So you stamp off first, get all that, as much ink as you can off, and then take it to your chamois. Always try to get as much ink as you can off because otherwise you're going to be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning your scrub or your chamois. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in the case. And I am going to stamp a little stamp. And the one that I'm going to use is this one. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp this in Memento Black. I'm just going to have this coming out of the bottle. Okay. And stamp that off, clean it. Now, I don't think I'm going to have anything coming out of the other bottle. I mean, I could because there are stamps that would work. But I think that's where I'm going to put my sentiment. And the sentiment I'm going to use is this one that says, Making Spirits Bright. How cute is that, right? Wine, spirits, Christmas, spirits. So adorable. And I think I'm going to stamp this in black also. Just right there. And then... I could either take little um, embellishments, my little um, pearls, and fill those in, or I could just use my blend marker, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to color those in with my blend. All right. And I'm going to close this for a second, just like that, so I can... Just relax and not feel like I'm going to put my hand in there. Okay, now, what else does it need? <clears throat> Might need a little grounding. It kind of looks like it's floating. Uh, <clears throat> my voice. So I'm going to use my light gray granite blend, and I'm just going to... Give it a little grounding. Okay, so I feel better about that. All right, now I have a piece of black. So all three of these cards are going to have a piece of white with, mounted on a piece of black. I just chose black because, right, we're doing the black and white paper. And I'm like, well, that makes it super easy. Okay, so this one has Cherry Cobbler as the cardstock base. I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to mount this on next. Did I get in a 
I was gonna say, did I get his adhesive on there? Okay, so this is four by five and a quarter. So it actually leaves that nice cherry cobbler border. This goes next. Now I could um, pop that up, but I don't think I'm going to. And I could stagger it, but since these are straight, I think I'm gonna put this one straight. I might do the other one staggered on the other cards. Okay, <clears throat> now I think I have some black twine here. Oh, look, <laughs> a piece that was already cut. So I'm just going to make a little bow, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Every time I think, oh yeah, that'll be easy. It's not, but I don't want it too big, right? So I have a little twine bow, mini glue dot. I'm adjusting to the fact that the mini glue dots are on this side of the paper and not on this side. But I'm getting there. Okay, so now I'm going to roll that up with my fingers. Put it right there. Put this right there. Okay, now it needs a piece on the inside because that's too dark to write on, my estimation. So I'm just going to put this on the inside. So this is five and three and three by three and three fourths, so you get that nice wide border. Okay, there's card one. I might add some. Do I need to add any embellishment? I don't think so. I think I'm going to go with it. I like it. Okay, <clears throat> second card. This is the piece I'm going to use. I'm going to use this side. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use shaded spruce with my blending brush. And I'm just tapping off so I don't get a big bold big bold spot like that. I don't want that on my card. I mean, it wouldn't be a crisis if it happened. And actually the center is gonna get covered up, so I'll just leave the center open. Ooh, I kinda like that. That would be kinda cool if it was a spotlight card. Okay. So if you do wanna make the edges darker, you can do that. Okay. The reason I'm not doing that in the center is because it's going to get covered up. Okay, what stamp set is next? Okay, so for this, for this card, I think I'm going to use, hmm, I already have leaves. I think I'm going to use this stamp set, Trees for Sale. Okay, so I have my little piece of cardstock, and I think I'm going to make it go this way. So I have the trees. I love these trees. I'm so sad that this isn't carried over, but after the holidays, I won't be sad because we'll have new, whoops, <laughs> we'll have new um, mini catalog with new product in it. Put that away. And um, that will make me happy. Okay, so this is kind of how I use a bigger block. I put one on one side and one on the other side. I can still see both. If that makes sense, but if you don't have big bigger blocks, just use the one you have. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up, stamp it off because that is really bold. Stamp it on, ink it up again. Now this is the this is the over stamp, so this is a two-step stamp set. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna clean these, stamp these off. And I'm gonna use the smaller tree. So we have three tree sizes in this set, which is nice. Okay. I'm not gonna use the small one, I'm gonna use the middle one next. This is the middle one. 
do the same thing I did before. I'm going to ink up the tree. I call it the first stamp. And I'm going to stamp it. And then I'm going to stamp it again. Okay. Mm, I love that tree. Okay. And then I'm going to ink up the stamp two. So easy to line up. Okay. Clean those. And then I'm going to use the, let's see, where is the other stamp? Oh yeah, this is so cute. I'm going to use this. Trees for sale. Should I stamp that though? I kind of messed up because I wanted to put that down here on the ground and now it's going to be up in the air. Hmm. Guess what? We're not going to do that since I did not place that correctly. So instead, we're going to make this super cute. We are going to stamp in black the little row of lights. Okay, so we're going to have lights going through that way. And coming back this way. Did I make that up all the way? Okay, sure. Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of like a tree lot, right? How they light things up for you. All right. Close. Close. And just partially close. Okay. Clean. Then on the inside, I'm going to stamp, you light up the season. And then this is cards, the orientation of this card is going to be, um, it's going to be landscape. So I am actually, the inside of the card is going to be going landscape also. You light up the season. And then underneath it, I'm going to put Christmas greetings in my shaded spruce. Like it, I love it. I could put a little tree in here. Mm. That might be cute. Hang on a second. Got an idea. I so bad want to use that trees for sale. So I'm using the little tree this time. And the over tree second tree there and then I can use my trees for sale I'm gonna cock it a little bit so it's kind of cockeyed how cute is that the insides as cute as the outside okay now done with that Close these so I can assemble my card. Okay. So I have shaded spruce cardstock base. And I'm just, this is five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it in half. Now this card's going to go this way. So this is actually going to go on this way. Just like that. 
And then this, again, is going to get mounted on the black. But I want to use these. I want to use this. So I'm going to color in these lights. The cherry cobbler. could use little baubles if I wanted to, but I didn't want to keep using all different product. I want to try to keep it a little simpler. So cute. Okay, before I put any embellishments on there, I'm going to put this on the inside. Again, this is five by three and three fourths. Okay, now what does it need on the front? Does it need some something? Does it need something? Does it need some of these? Hmm. Could, but I already got these, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh, you know what would be cute? Something on, no, they're not really decorated trees yet. They're actually trees from the, oh, you know what's cute is this little, this is so cute. I thought this was a bow at first, but you know what this is? This is the stand, the wooden stand that the tree lot, oh, that's adorable. It's a little stand that the tree sits in while you're looking at trees. So I don't know, I'm thinking, does this need anything? I don't think it needs any embellishments. I think I like it, actually. I think I like it kind of just the way it is because the inside is so cute. Okay, so there's card number two. Card number three. This is the piece I'm gonna use, okay? And this is the other side. So flowers or like, wildflowers and leaves. So since that is black background, I think I could do that similar technique I did on the last card with, but I'm gonna use the cherry cobbler, okay? Let's see how this works. So it's gonna make those, it's gonna make these look Christmassy because I'm gonna make these pop. And really, you're not going to see a whole lot of the color on the black. So the, the uh, cherry cobbler on the black is pretty much concealed. And again, I don't have to do the center, right? Because it's not going to, it's going to be hidden. There's no point in wasting time on that. I like how when you do it just dark in some spots. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, so you can clean your brush. Now I have that done. Now I have my piece, and it's going to go this way, right? Because the orientation is this way. So I'm going to do this. And the stamp set I chose for this last card is this stamp set. So this is decorated with happiness. This has coordinating dies with it. And I am going to stamp this, and I don't need the whole stamp, so this block will work. I am just going to stamp some of this on here, kind of like that. So I'm gonna use shaded spruce. I'm gonna end up really liking these cards. I may duplicate these and use, <laughs> use them if I need some more before Christmas. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that's inked up on the end. And oh, I just love that. It's just so realistic in a sketchy way. <laughs> I know, I'm bizarre. Okay, so we're going to 
clean that off. And I don't, so there's a second stamp that you can stamp over it, right? But I don't think I want that. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. And then the other stamp is this one. So I am going to stamp this in Memento Black. Ooh, do I wanna stamp this in black or cherry cobbler? I think I'm gonna do it in cherry cobbler. So the ornament I'm stamping in, there's three ornaments in this set. And I'm just stamping this in cherry cobbler, like hanging from the branch. Stamp off. Now this one, I may come back and use the center. So again, this is like, a, this is a two-step stamp and you can stamp it off if you want. And then you just get this lighter see that looks okay and then these the sentiments in here are bows of jolly Christmas greetings wishing I love this wishing you a season decorated with happiness and wonder but I think bows of jolly goes with this because that's a bow of jolly <laughs> are you laughing are you laughing with me okay and then I think for the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp the that sentiment I said I liked. And I'm going to stamp it in shaded spruce. These uh, photopolymer stamps are so wonderful. They adhere well to the blocks. They are easy to line up. Oh, they're just a joy to use. I know, if you know me, uh, back when I was, uh, when they had wood stamps, when I started stamping, we had wood stamps. And I said, I'm never gonna get rid of my wood stamps. I am not gonna be a clear stamper. Well, there you go. Okay, so now I have my black piece, right, to line it up. I mean, to um, layer it, not line it up, layer it. Okay, so those all three say the same size. Easy cut. Now I'm going to have a white piece as my third card. I'm just using a white, half a sheet of white cardstock. Okay, and I didn't really need a white piece for the inside, but look, it looks kind of nice, actually actually like it so I'm gonna add this next and I might add hmm, I could actually cock that one I think I might put it on a, a little bit of a crooked edge okay so this is next and then this yes So cute. And then this inside. Golly. Oh, hopefully this uh, video is not going to be like 30 minutes. For one thing, it takes forever to upload. Secondly, you might not be interested in watching it that long. Okay, so I am going to add some embellishments to this. And I have I don't have a lot left on this. These are called red and green adhesive back pearls. But there actually was four colors. There was silver, gold, uh, green and red, but um, all I have left is silver and <laughs> green. <laughs> so these are carried over actually. So I just bought another pack of these because, you know, they're not just for Christmas. You can use them year round. And I think I'm going to do the green. Okay. All right, there's our three cards. So I didn't use a whole lot of different colors. I just used basically those three colors. I did use the blends and I did use this one, this light gray granite just to, on that one card, but you know, wouldn't have to do that. You could just do it with a sponge if you wanted. I did use some black twine and I used these 
little embellishments, but gee, and I use my blender pen, uh, blend, bleh, blending brushes. Okay, so there we have that one. We have this one, and we have this one. Okay, so those three cards are pretty stinking cute for a quick turnaround. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, five more days till Christmas. Yay. Um, hope you're all ready. And if you need any gift ideas, holler. I'm more than willing to help you. And um, hopefully you are having a great uh, December. And I will see you on Friday with um, the last video on the 23rd before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Travis Bossler. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.